Jay has arrived on Raw and lots of stories and potential directions are already being teased for him, so we'll see what's going on there. We'll also check out what's going on with Drew McIntyre, The Miz, and much more. The September 4th edition of Raw featured Jay's official arrival to the Monday Night Raw brand. Jay spoke about how he was happy to finally be free from his family. But it wasn't long before Sami Zayn came out and interrupted him. Sami and Jay have had a very complicated relationship with each other over the months, and that's mostly due to everything that was going on with Roman Reigns. But Sami never really lost hope in Jay. Even after Jay picked Roman's side time and time again, Sami always knew there was some good there left in Jay. And that's what Sami spoke about here in this moment to Jay's face. Sammy told him that he was very happy to have him here on Raw and very proud of him for breaking free from Roman and the bloodline. Sammy and Jay even hugged it out and squashed all the issues that were there between the two of them. But as Jay is going up the ramp, he gets into some stare downs with both Drew and Matt Riddle. So why did these superstars have this stare down with Jay? Well, to answer that question and to touch on what both Sammy and Jay both said, Jay will have to unfortunately now deal with the consequences of his actions from his days with his family. Jay was the biggest reason why guys like Matt Riddle and Drew suffered so much and lost so many opportunities. It was Jay and his family that not only took Riddle's tag team titles, but they also fully took out his tag team partner, Randy Orton. And Orton hasn't been seen on WWE television ever since. That's how badly Jay has affected Matt Riddle's life in WWE. Same sort of thing for Drew. He had to deal with Jay and the entire family when he was coming after the Universal title, and that cost Drew a lot of opportunities as well. And just because Jay left his family doesn't mean that everyone will now suddenly forgive and forget. Not at all. All of those people that Jay screwed over throughout the last few years will still be holding those grudges towards him. They already teased that dynamic coming into play there with Riddle and Drew staring down Jay, so it'll be interesting to see if they do expand on that idea and have even more familiar foes from Jay's past try to pop up and seek revenge on him now that he's all alone on Raw. So if they decide to go down that path with Jay, it may be a great route to go in. Another thing they teased on Raw, in terms of Jay's direction, was the idea of Jay getting involved and joining another faction in WWE with the Judgment Day. It was Dominic who came up to Jay and pitched him the idea of joining the Judgment Day. Dominic, much like several other superstars on the Raw roster, has had a couple of run-ins with Jay and the Bloodline over the last few years. It was actually Jimmy and Jay who defeated Dominic and Ray for the tag team titles back in 2021. But unlike Matt Riddle and Drew from earlier in the night, Dominic didn't seem to hold that grudge against Jay. Dominic instead tried relating with Jay in order for him to join the Judgment Day. Dominic told Jay that he was once in Jay's same shoes, how he comes from a broken family, how no one likes him, but he was able to turn that around and become a success thanks to Rhea Ripley and the Judgment Day. Dominic assured Jay that he wouldn't have to worry about any out-of-control leaders with the Judgment Day because there's no leaders and how they're all equals. Jay never gave Dominic an answer, but Dominic said he was still going to talk it over with the Judgment Day. Adam Pearce also revealed that SmackDown will receive some compensation for sending Jay over to Raw, meaning that it was a fair trade and that a Raw superstar will be traded over to SmackDown in exchange for Jay. A lot of fans already have a lot of theories for who that traded superstar could be. The first big name being thrown around by fans is Cody Rhodes. It was made clear at Payback that Cody Rhodes played some sort of role in making the Jay Raw trade take place, but it wasn't really fully explained. Well, what if it was Cody Rhodes volunteering himself to get traded to SmackDown in exchange for Jay as a big chess move to inch him closer to Roman Reigns and the undisputed Universal title? Jay gets fully pulled away from his family, and Cody gets to be placed closer to the Universal title both men getting exactly what they want, so everyone wins in that trade scenario. The other name fans were discussing to be traded to SmackDown is Kevin Owens. Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens just lost the tag team titles, so what if this is their way of quietly splitting them up again and letting them go their separate ways? It definitely seems possible. The Miz is the other name that's being theorized by fans to possibly be involved with the trade. 
The Miz appears to be continuing his feud with L.A. Knight and John Cena, so fully moving The Miz over to SmackDown may be the perfect move that the feud will benefit from. So, there's still some big mystery behind who will get traded to SmackDown, so expect a Raw superstar to be on the move to SmackDown real soon. In other related news, Drew McIntyre has been heavily teasing a heel turn in recent weeks. Drew has been teaming with Matt Riddle lately, but it just never seems like his heart is fully into the tag team. When Drew returned a few months back, his eyes were set on the Intercontinental title, and he seemed happy and determined to be on the hunt for it. But that same desire just isn't there with the current tag team with Matt Riddle. Drew's character doesn't seem invested at all and appears to be getting closer and closer to snapping with each passing week. Like we talked about earlier, we did see that moment of Drew McIntyre staring down Jay during his Raw entrance. That's all the indication right there of where Drew's head is at right now. He's still thinking about his feud with Roman Reigns and how the Universal title just slipped out of his hands even a full year later. There's also another mini storyline that's going on between Drew and The New Day. Drew accidentally injured Xavier Woods last week, and now Kofi Kingston accidentally cost Drew and Riddle their match against the Viking Raiders, which Drew McIntyre was so heated about that he wanted to go find Kofi Kingston right away. Fans noticed even another line from Drew that appeared to be hinting at a heel turn and a potential future feud. Drew McIntyre said that if any troubles start up with Jay, that'll have to come for the person who brought Jay over to Raw, Cody Rhodes. And that's interesting because it's one of those things that we always talk about that could end up meaning nothing, or it could end up being a massive moment of foreshadowing if Drew McIntyre versus Cody Rhodes does take place in the near future. Drew vs. Cody is a feud that we've talked about heavily over the last few months, because even Drew McIntyre himself said it's at the top of his list of things to do right now in WWE. Drew wants to work with Cody Rhodes and get a great feud going there between the both of them. Drew and Cody have worked together in the past inside of a WWE ring, but that was well over a decade ago. So that would be massive if it actually takes place in 2023, maybe even 2024. Drew McIntyre teasing coming after Cody Rhodes is also teasing Drew's heel turn. Cody is arguably the biggest babyface on the current roster, so if Drew comes after him, it only means that Drew would have to be a heel for that meeting with Cody. So it's clear that they definitely have a story developing right now with Drew McIntyre. Drew is getting heated extremely fast every week on Raw and always needs to be talked down by Matt Riddle. And that's been working so far, but everyone figures that there'll be a day where Matt Riddle trying to calm Drew McIntyre down simply won't work at all, and how Drew could potentially snap on him. After Drew McIntyre snaps on Matt Riddle and turns heel, then maybe that feud with Cody Rhodes does become a massive possibility even more. So be on the lookout for Drew McIntyre reaching that breaking point sometime in the near future. But what are your thoughts on today's stories? Leave your comments below, don't forget to subscribe with all notifications on, and leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, guys.